Morning everyone, how are you doing today? Today I've got a quite exciting video for you. So this week basically is Bista Village Week here on my channel because every day of this week there is going to be a Bista Village related video. So today will be the Bista, well I'll, you can see from the title, it's about the Burberry um, unveiling store um, the revamped store, the reopening of the Burberry store at Vista Village, um, which I accidentally stumbled across. Um, tomorrow's, not tomorrow's, Wednesday's video will be a overall vlog of Vista Village, a Vista Village come shop with me. And then on Friday will be a haul from my Vista Village trip as well. So, yeah. I'm filming this intro after the fact that I have been. But today... I'm going, as in you'll see me going, but I've been to Bista Village. Now today at Bista is the unveiling, opening of something pretty exciting. I suppose it's not really an opening because it's opened before already. It's been there a long time. But if you haven't, um, or if you haven't been to Bista in a while and you haven't known, um, what they've been doing is they've been updating, revamping, the Burberry store there and um, so since I don't remember it being closed I don't think it was closed before lockdown I'm pretty sure it wasn't and there was a separate just kids store anyway to the main big Burberry which is kind of in the middle near where Gucci is um, next to Pret but when I went I like went the opening week ish after lockdown well, maybe not the opening week, I can't remember, but I went after lockdown and noticed that the main store was closed. It still had, like, Burberry written on the windows, but they were, like, not blacked out, but they had screens across them. And the um, there was three new Burberry stores, which were temporary stores. They had one for women's wear, which is, or was, opposite Ralph Lauren. They had, like, a accessory store, which I guess was, like, handbags and scarves and stuff like that which was kind of I think it, it was where Cos was so like next to Asics kind of in that area like opposite Ted Baker and then they had a men's store which was where the kids store was which was like opposite Tommy Hilfiger um and they were the the main store still had like Burberry on it and it just had like a beige over the windows and Burberry with the new Burberry logo and so the first time I went there, I went to, when I got there, because I always park the end of Ralph Lauren, because that seems to be the quietest point to park and it's the easiest to get out when you want to get out of Bista Village. And so I parked there, walked to, because literally that Burberry women's store is right when you get in. So I walked to there and I asked, is there a Burberry kids store anymore? And she said, no, it will be opening in October. So I thought, hmm, that must mean the new Burberry store is going to be open in October. Lo and behold, today is, what is today? It's the 9th of October. I was going to Bista Village anyway. I nearly went yesterday. Good thing I didn't. Because I got there and I saw, because I parked Ralph Lauren side again, um... And the Burberry there didn't have Burberry on it anymore. It was just nothing was there. And then I went past the where the Burberry accessory store is, was, which was next to or opposite Ted Baker, around there. Um, just like not that far away from the Ralph Lauren entrance, Polo Ralph Lauren. And it had on it Burberry, like blacked out windows, but they were beige. Burberry children's wear coming soon so I thought hmm I thought at that point oh the big store now must be open so lo and behold I was walking up walked down went I went into like some shops went into Prada and stuff like that just to have a look um and I got to Burberry and it was open no queue whatsoever and I went in and it's completely changed so when you go in through the doors it used to have like a staircase that went up and then went one like two to do different size but they linked round 
that's no longer there. I was a bit confused when I got in. I was like, so where's the stairs? I could see an upstairs because there was kind of like, there was no balcony or anything, but there was a mezzanine floor with, you could see people up there and other things behind glass and it had like Burberry and like embossed into the glass and stuff. And I went in, so I went in, there's lots of mirrors and everything and it's all like new Burberry logo everywhere and all that kind of thing. Lots of red as well. I haven't been to a new Burberry store, well this, I've only been to this one, but I know what like the inside of the Regent Street store used to look like so I don't know whether this is a continuation on whether all Burberry stores will look like this or is this just for the outlet. Um, but now, so the staircase is now to the left, but like right at the end, you can't really see it at all when you go in. And menswear is still upstairs, women's wear is still downstairs. So I eventually found this staircase, which is like a red vinyl staircase, all enclosed. If you've been in the Gucci at Vista Village, the new one, it's not so new anymore it's all enclosed like that, it's not like an open staircase. Um, and I went up there and the men's floor now feels bigger because you haven't got that imposing staircase in the middle with a big balcony. It's been like there's a lot more floor space in my opinion, I think. I say a lot more, it's probably not that much more, but it feels a, a bit more. Um, and it feels more modern. It's come up to what Burberry is now today in 2020 with the new logo. It's more, more, it's not as traditional as what the store used to be like. And yeah, so I was looking around, saw some few things. All the prices and stuff are similar to what they have been in the past um, and stuff like that. I should be hopefully showing you some clips of, um, some stuff there was a lot of people taking pictures and people not telling them not to take pictures which I thought was weird because what used there used to be a big sign saying no pictures when you go in there and I thought I didn't see that sign today but no one was telling people not to and they were doing them right right in front of the shop assistants faces so I was thought mm, maybe I can get away with a bit more undercover looking at stuff through like vlogging kind of thing um but yeah i went so i found something i liked which i'll show you in a minute um and went to pay um a man was there he was um ringing me up if you will um serving me and a woman came in came by and she was like how do you like the new store i was like yeah it's good and um, when did it open and she said this morning and i was like oh okay then so yeah, it opened literally on the 9th of October. I don't know whether it was much fanfare or anything. I don't know if they really do much fanfare with like an outlet store. Burberry at Vista Village is now reopened in the big store and the sales assistant that was the one that was actually um, where I was paying, he, because I asked about the kids store as well, I said, um, is there still a kids store? Because I hadn't got to the point where the old kids store was. Um, which hadn't really been there that long, which was where the men's one was temporarily um, opposite Tommy Hilfiger down that like narrower bit. And he said it's due to open on the 14th of October in that new bit. And I hadn't noticed that the Burberry, old temporary Burberry accessories store had Burberry children's wear on it. I didn't notice that, I don't think at that time. Maybe I did, I know I just said I did, but I can't remember if that was just me walking past it going, to the exit or me going past it walking you know shopping walking more into the village um but he said on the 14th but don't quote me on that so that's good because i wanted to have another look in there to see what they've got um in terms of kids wear for my niece and nephew and that means that probably because i remember the old burberry kids store which was not that old but when it closed and changed into the men's it would have been bigger than what where it's going to be, which is where Cos was. Because um, it just, I know Cos was smaller than that store, but I don't know whether there'll be less space, because that Burberry store did have quite a lot of space, which is good in like 
COVID times. But yeah, I'm going to show you what I got at Burberry. They've got new bags and everything. The new bags now look like this. They're just plain white with Burberry London England on. That's like the new um, logo. I was pretty unsure about the new logo when it first came out, but I'm. it's grown on me a bit. It's very, everything's now very quite streetwear, which I know that's where luxury has gone. Um, I think when you buy something from a proper Burberry store, the bag is beige, which when you used to buy Burberry stuff at Vista, the bag used to be beige as well. I'll link in the iCard and down below some previous, like my first ever Burberry purchase and stuff um, from Vista. I've only ever bought stuff from Vista. Um, but that old bag just had Burberry on it with the old logo, whereas I think the ones that you used to get in the store had Burberry on, but like in gold and had the old like emblem logo kind of thing on it um, with the horse and whatever it was. Um, but now this is what it is, got white handles. I think if you buy something in an actual Burberry store, it's beige with black handles and just the black writing. What I got, I was, I thought he might have given me a smaller bag because every time I've been before and got a shirt, which is, spoiler, that's what it is. Um, I've got a smaller bag, apart from the first time. But anyway, this is what I got. This is a Burberry shirt, and it's not really in the, like, a Burberry check, it's just checkered. Um, and it's quite thin. It's got the new logo on it so it can't be that old and wherever the um, tag is has got the new Burberry logo on as well but then when you go in it it's got a different check it says Burberry Burberry's and then talks about equestrian and stuff so originally apparently this was 280 pounds it then it says now 114, now 119, now 79. So I got it for 79 pounds, which I know is still quite a lot, but I really liked it. I got it in a medium. I'm gonna try it on because I've not tried it on yet. Um, but it just looks like this. It hasn't got anything. So on the buttons, it has got Burberry England written on it, I think. Does it? Yes, it does. The buttons are quite, you're not going to be able to see, but they're quite like holographic, which is fun. Um, but it's not got, my other shirts I think have got like a bit at the bottom here that says Burberry, but this one hasn't. And it's got some extra things with a Burberry plastic bag thing. So yeah. That is what I bought. Hopefully it fits nicely and fits well. I got it in a size medium. So yeah, that was my little, let me just have a look at the receipt, because the receipt still got the old logo on. And it's very long for some reason. So they accept exchanges only of unused and unauthorised items with 14 days of purchase at Burberry outlet stores within the country of purchase. All exchanges must have the Burberry tags attached and where applicable hygiene seal attached, blah, blah, blah. Um, please note it's not possible to refund or exchange items and in the interest of hygiene, PSC, blah, 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 blah. So yeah. Cool. That was the opening day of Burberry. Hope you enjoyed, and um, I, re I say opening day, not really the reopening of Burberry basically um, at Vista again so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you're not already please subscribe to this channel it's just one click down below not up there um, and yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you're all well I hope you're all doing safe everything like that and um, follow my Instagrams down below if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one bye